guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be talking about unfortunately a topic that is recurring on this channel. So because I hate myself, I spend a lot of time on Twitter. I'd say 0.2% of that time is positive memes, laughs, whatever. And the rest is toxic, disgusting, depraved, disappointing, deranged, just a mess. I, every so often, go to check up on pedophile Twitter, a sentence that I really hate that I can say without lying. And when I go on pedophile slash map Twitter, because that's what they call themselves, and I know people always ask, why don't you put pedophile in the title? It's because the video would be hidden because the term pedophile, well already YouTube thinks a lot of things are offensive, but when it's actually a term that is very loaded like pedophile, they no. So I have to put map. I went to check on pedophile Twitter and there's a new aspect of pedophile Twitter that is seriously scary to me. Of course, there are the usual run-of-the-mill pedophiles who think pedophilia should be accepted, it's valid, or it should be part of LGBT. Just, you know, those people. So I want to look at a couple of those just so we get in the vein of what we're going to talk about. It gets a lot grimmer, so prepare yourself. The only thing I care about is ending all forms of oppression. Aspec, A-S-P-E-C, what the fuck? They come up with new things every time I check. Aspec means someone identifies on the asexual aromantic spectrum. That makes more sense, had never heard that term. Pro-contact, age flux, NB, ANCOM, what's ANCOM? Anarcho-communism, my god, this bio. Ugh. Iconoclast and supporter of all, including you. Quick note, I forgot to mention that I don't want you guys to send these people hate or death threats. If you want to take any action, I suppose you could report their profile. But aside from that, I would strongly suggest not contacting them at all. If you're a minor, go ahead and block them. But let's not resort to death threats or anything like that. Now, out of that mess of letters put together, the thing we really care about here is a map. It says that they're a map, so they're a pedophile. And Pro C means pro contact. Now, for the most part, all the maps that I've come across on Twitter, they say that they're anti-contact, which honestly to me doesn't necessarily mean that much because they could very well be lying. To say that you're pro-contact, you could also be lying, but it's a lot more damaging because people are gonna assume that you either will or have abused children. I found this person, so that was interesting. I found someone else who says, hi, I'm new, be nice, 18 year old he him from America, loves love, age is just a number. Yeah, age is just a number, 911 is also just a number, and prison's just a room, so I guess it's all good, kumbaya, right? No. And then it says, map ally, anti-maps need help. I go to therapy and I'm an anti-map and trust me, my therapist has confirmed with me that me being an anti-map is not one of my problems. Out of the many problems I have, trust, being an anti-map is not something you need help with. And being an anti-map, I think on the contrary, proves that you have morals, ethics, ideals. Also, I don't like seeing children in pain, which is something pedophiles don't grasp, but moving on. Last one before we get to the meat of this. Founder and leader of the Legion of Infinity, whatever that is, pro-map activist, pro-contact, anti-religion but spiritualist, polyamorous and polysexual, feel free to ask questions. Boy, I have a lot of questions. I have a lot of questions. What is a pro-map activist, really? Because in my books, activism is fighting for something that typically is worth fighting for, and I find it laughable in like the most depressing way possible that you are proud to be, well, at least proud enough to put it in your bio, activist that is pro pedophile. I have questions just like what happened to make you be pro pedophile? Like what, what occurred? Because trust me, nobody wants to claim them. Nobody except the pro map people want to claim the pedophiles. Not the LGBT because they don't belong there. Not abuse victims because I'm one of them and I will not claim them for the whole of us. None of us want pedophiles here, okay? So there are these disgusting people online. What's new? You guys are aware of them probably. What now concerns me very deeply is that there is a subcategory of maps, the underage maps. I know the concept seems a little bit crazy because it's like, if you're still underage, how do you know that you're attracted to minors? And of course, 
there are multiple ways in which that could work. So it could be, for example, a 14 year old realizing that they're only attracted to five year olds, but it also could mean, you know, a 16 year old who's attracted to a 14 year old. So underage maps confuse me mainly because a lot of them don't write down their age of attraction. So I feel like some of them may have convinced themselves that they are pedophiles when maybe that's not even the case, we hope. You can understand why this is concerning because there are profiles and I'm gonna blur their information because they're underage. But there's this one profile that says map slash AAM. Oh God, what's AAM now? Can they just write the whole thing? American Alliance of Museums. I don't think that's what they were referring to. I don't know what AAM is. If someone can enlighten me, I can't keep up with all these terminologies that, okay. Eight years old, non-chronological, trans age, anarcho-commie. It's like you can't even commit to having one problem. Like you're also trans age. Now listen, there's a difference between trans age and age regression. I have a limited understanding of age regression, but I hear that people do it as a coping mechanism and it can be therapeutic and it can also have to do with like I said, personal therapy that people are doing to recover from traumas and such. So we're not talking about age regression here. Trans age, as in the idea that you can be a different age. Well, listen, I identify as 17 because back then I didn't have to pay all my bills and I could be a little bit more immature and more irresponsible, so I'm 17, guys. Officially, I'm nine years younger. There's nothing you can say. See how stupid that sounds? Yeah, well, this is what that stands for. To be honest, I've always, always, always thought that trans age was an excuse for people to be pedophiles, but rationalize it by saying, oh, well, I actually also identify as an eight-year-old and this little boy or this little girl is eight, so we're good. And it's like, no, Steven, you're a 50-year-old man. Like, you can't just say you're eight and have it be just done. Automatically, we all accept you. No. This person being a map and also trans age does not surprise me in the least because I think in their minds it's a way to rationalize the way they're feeling. Apparently, they're eight years old, non-chronological, so I'm assuming that's their trans age that they identify with. The thing is, I found minor accounts that say really troubling things. Now, not all these minor accounts are maps. Some of them are just pro map in the sense or accepting of maps, which in and of itself is dangerous. Like I found this profile that says 14 maps are valid. DM me if you want to chill. This is scary because I'm sure there are pedophiles whose favorite age is 14. And as this person thinks that pedophiles are valid, to me, it just stands to reason if one reached out to them, they wouldn't immediately block them as you should and report them. They might engage with them. And that is truly what scares me because teens and children that young, of course, have somewhat of a grasp of what a pedophile is, but at the same time, I'm scared for them because they could really get into something that will traumatize them for the rest of their lives. And having maps are valid in your bio how is that not gonna attract maps? They're pedophiles. Here, there's another minor whose bio says, miss me, your favorite stupid, ugly, fat female, 12 year old AAM, again, don't know, map ally. Bish is back, I support anti-contact maps that want help. CSA survivor, not depressed, just sad. This person is anti-contact, but at the same time, again, being if they really are 12 online, making these statements that essentially they're in favor of maps as long as they don't make contact, this person, again, could easily become a victim of these pedophiles, especially if they're older. If they're, you know, say 30, they're gonna be able to manipulate a 12 year old. So this is what concerns me that Miners have in some ways inserted themselves in the map community, even if they're not even maps themselves, even if they're even if they're just allies, it's scary to me because this is exactly a pedophile's dream that children and young teens are not only aware of them, but are actively accepting of them. That to me seems like a pedophile's best scenario because imagine, imagine there's a 30 year old pedophile on Twitter and then there's a 14 year old person who is a pedophile ally. These two coming together is perfect because the pedophile doesn't even have to force themselves or like validate themselves. They can just 
like they're already automatically respected and considered valid, it scares me, okay? Like I know I'm not vocalizing this well, but it scares me. So then there was a tweet by this one person who is also a minor and they identify as a map and it says, it's saddening to see maps go, at least we're not sociopaths in an effort to gain acceptance. The map community was founded upon the ideas of inclusion and acceptance, having been rejected from the LGBTQ plus community in the 80s. Bigotry, hatred, and ableism are not map values. Now, this is the other aspect of of the underage map slash pedophile identified people. I believe this person is 15 or 16, if I recall correctly. And having this type of ideology so young concerns me because no kid or teen thinks this without some level of indoctrination, in my opinion. At 16, nobody could ever, ever convince me that being a pedophile is valid and should be happily accepted. So like this type of rhetoric to me, I'm not saying this person has been groomed, I know nothing about this person, but this rhetoric to me does not sound like the typical rhetoric of a 15 or 16 year old. This sounds like someone who has heard things over and over again and is repeating them or has repeated them enough until they maybe actually believe them. And that scares me because that puts them in a vulnerable position again because they're underage and so the people they're kind of defending can easily prey on them because they can, you know, weep about their victimhood as a pedophile and this person would be like, yeah, you're right, you've been rejected from the LGBTQ plus community. Do you understand where I'm coming from? This person also identifies as a map, which adds on, again, another layer. It's really hard for my brain to wrap itself around the, the concept that the pedophile community now has a subsection where there's people who don't identify as maps, who just openly support them, who are minors, and then people who are minors who also identify as maps and therefore support pedophiles slash maps, whatever you want to call them. So it, it genuinely scares me because like I said, I don't necessarily believe that every minor who says that they're a map truly knows what they're talking about. And second of all, if they do think that and they continue to think that, I feel like I, I worry that they will continue to reiterate to themselves that they are that and that they therefore can never change or shouldn't go to therapy and things like that. You know what I mean? So I don't know. I'm just deeply concerned for, for the minors here because I feel like they're just open targets right now. Anyways, guys, let me know what you think. Let me know, you know, what if you have any idea of what to do. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you to my patrons as always. And let's get right into the fan art. <laughs> 